Wow, well, this dude is an absolute marauder, high-level wrestler, and when he is at his suffocating best, punishing UFC fighters on the canvas, looks like he might be able to make a real concerted world title run, at least to me. You know, not many guys can use that skill set almost singularly. We saw how beating the Mega Metal early in his career essentially just wrestled and dominate people. And that is the approach that this young man is taking. He is so good at getting in your face and making you work. You got to be preemptive. You cannot allow him to grab your leg. If you get your leg, you're going down. You got to keep moving. You got to stay on your feet. Because this guy, if you get your leg, is like a dog on a bone. And it's that single leg, a thing of beauty. And he basically guaranteed a finish here tonight. Certainly believes the takedown is going to be there. And we will not be surprised if he goes for one of them. But John, is that in the matchup or is that in his belief in his skill set that he's going to finish this fight? Unreal. Should be interesting to see how this fight plays out stylistically. On one side, we have as high level a wrestler as we have seen cross into this division in some time. And I know you guys enjoyed talking wrestling in the fighter meeting. Is it your expectation he's going to try to take this fight down early? Oh, John, he's going for a single win right away. Yeah. It's his best take now. He wants to take it on and he wants to worry you out. He wants to go from position A to position B. Position A, take him down. Position B, on the ground, move to C. Get to the mouth. Try to find a way to dominate and in between suffocate. Make him work at every single turn. This guy's tremendous. He is the embodiment of the fight style that so many of us use. Well, as you know, every MMA round begins on the feet, but prevailing wisdom is this one could hit the canvas and sooner rather than later. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee for this one. Well, much better to come here in the summer than the winter, but it is great to be inside United Center here in Chicago, Illinois. Long Shakur in the U.S. Yes, for a long time, Chicago has come out when the UFC comes to town. It is a beautiful city, and the fans are always rowdy. It's going to get loud here tonight because championship will be won. Well, we're in the clinch, but still able to land hard to the head with the punch there. Another good stick to the head. Severance in half guard. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Beautiful submission attempt here. Oh, tense moment here. That arm trying to fight. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Great job landing from the top position. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, he's got his back now, making all these shots count. And he's back up. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Nice. How about the judo toss there? Judo 101. And right into side control. Nice shots landing from the top position. 
Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Great submission defense. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's be trying to get back to his feet. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Arm is very tight. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Great grounding bomb by this man. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Now he's going full mount. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. He's got to be careful here. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Under two minutes to go in the round. Let's go! Get him off you! Get All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, do the posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Gotta be very careful there. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh! He's very close to the finish here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite no. side. He no. can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. All right, that round was beautiful. You executed the game plan perfectly. I want you to keep that pressure on. Start slow. Move in and out. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did Ready it perfect. Fight. Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, here we go with our next round. What a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or run. I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Now, let me do Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Beautiful ground and pound, and it looks like he has a cut now. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. The ground strikes continue to pile up.
score it there from bottom position. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Severn's eye starting to close up. Gotta get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. All right, close guard now. And there you go, again, half guard. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the board. And another, another strike from the top. Lands for him. Oh, right in the mouth. up now and now the damage is about to start all oh, the ground and pound is there pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area yeah it looks like that strike opened up a cut John but it's nothing to worry about now but he's got to start to protect it. all right so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy you don't want to mess around for too long he's in the mouth That was a slick transition. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. He's got to start throwing down. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Severn's got the full mount. Gotta be careful here. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Severn's trying for a submission here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Kimura right into the armbar now. That was a nasty transition. This has got to be the end of the fight. His word, I'm going to stand this out. Whoa! Submission defense, he gets out! I mean, the calmness in that moment. It looked like the fight was over. He was able to clear his head, put the guy into the mouth. Not a great position, but much better than getting his arm snapped in half from an armbar. Good work from the top here by Severn. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Severance back to the side control now. Lays the ground and pound strike here. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Good double leg limitations. Sever, ground and pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. 
lands a nice punch from his back. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Severn's looking for that arm triangle now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Always offensive. Lands a shot from the bottom. All right, side control now. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Just stay calm. He's able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Severn. Another strike gets through from the top position. Severn's back in full now. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Severn. Oh, nice headlock. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Holding the position, still working for a submission. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Well, that combination is going to leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Sever. About two minutes here to go in round three. More can he take? Uh, watch you on the arm bar. Oh, no. It's got to be it. It seems so tight. Oh, it's oh, it's oh, it's the winner by submission. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right, let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 13 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Dan, the Beast Seller. Well, without a single mustache hair out of place, Dan Severn gets the job done here tonight. He's had a lot of signature wins in the octagon thus far, but you got to think this one is going to feel bigger than most. He put a lot of pressure on himself. The training camp was not with.